Hey everybody, in the last class, we went over the top five myths about ISO 20022. And in this class, we're gonna look at the top five facts, just the facts. Before we get started, as I've said in other classes, you want some education on ISO 20022 and FedNow, head over to the Payments Professor website. I've got a class dedicated to learning the basics of ISO 20022 messaging and FedNow. But let's get this class moving on. ISO 20022 provides a number of key benefits, including faster processing, improved reconciliation, improved and better structured data, which, as we heard in other classes, helps reduce the likelihood of misinterpretations and lowers transaction costs. The improved data structure, it allows businesses, corporations, financial institutions to capture structure and unstructured information, which in return allows for richer formatting options and better exception handling. Fact number one, ISO 20022 has more data capabilities than other payment channels. The ISO 20022 payments messaging standard carries much more richer information than let's say Swift MT messages and like other payment channels like ACH or Check21. The information in an ISO 20022 message can be grouped together based on common data components from different payment methods and can be further reused resulting in increased interoperability. Now, as we saw again in previous classes, the amount of data available also provides a great tool for payee identification and potential reduction of fraud and reduction of misdirected payments. Fact number two, ISO 20022 has flexibility built in. Okay, ISO 20022 transactions provide additional functionalities. They do follow the XML-based approaches and offer improved remittance capabilities. So as a result, the ISO 20022 standard gives users the ability to harmonize formats that did not previously allow for cross operations, which improves efficiencies while reducing cost and exposure to risk. Fact number three, better transparency and visibility. More transparency with more remittance information leads to better customer experiences. Enhanced visibility and real-time perspective of liquidity flows, well, that just provides for stronger forecasting capabilities. What's that mean? This means that financial service organizations can adopt agile approaches and even ways to better manage and control their liquidity. It's a win for all parties. Fact number four, ISO 20022 is a common language used for payments worldwide. You've probably heard me say it in videos and classes before. Over 70 countries are currently using the ISO 20022 format for their faster payments networks. With ISO 20022, transactions between senders and receivers need to have a common language, a common understanding of the information in the message that they exchange. And ISO 20022 is doing a great job solving for this. Will we see more cross-border instant payments in the future? I do believe so. And I believe that's because of the global adoption of ISO 20022 is helping to pave the way for those faster payments. And cross-border is going to be happening. Now, again, they can differ a little bit into how the 20022 is used. But then there is fact number five. ISO 20022 format for FedNow and RTP. ISO 20022 is the format for FedNow and for RTP, but they're not compatible. Okay, this one is kind of a weird fact after talking about how ISO 20022 has become the common language for faster payments worldwide. But the reality is different systems vary slightly. And the fact is that FedNow and RTP are not currently compatible. And that is a fact. They do both use ISO 20022 formatting. That is a fact too. Now, how can this be possible? Look at it this way. They have taken the common language format, the ISO 20022 format, and each network has tweaked it and customized the format for how their network works. So while there are an incredible number of similarities, there are some slight differences between how FedNow and RTP 
use ISO 2022. And because of these differences, they're not currently compatible. Now those are the facts. Maybe not all the facts, because there's probably some more facts, but some of the facts, the top five facts about ISO 2022. And one more fact, this class is over. Class dismissed.